Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another part of our Live TV streaming Android app development tutorial series. In the last video, we improved our data extraction model using the channel data services class. Now in this part, we're going to implement the other category wise recycler view that we were supposed to add here in the home page. Okay. So let's open our Android Studio. This is where we left off at the last video. So I'm just going to close everything that we don't need. All we need is main activity and activity main for now. Okay. So in our home page, we have this linear layout and our linear layout contains this big slider list. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add title here for the categories and one more text here. Now to add the title here for the category for the categories, I'm going to add one card view just after this big slider list recycler view and inside this card view I'm going to add constant view because it is easy to create component that are side by side inside the constant view okay so that's why I'm going to use the constant view inside the card view and that inside that I'm just going to drag and drop our text view and I'm going to fix the constant and I'll give it dp of margin and I will change the name to news channel. I will change the font size, make it bold and change the color to black. Okay. And I will add one more text view for more button, more option. And I will fix the constant here, top and left, top and bottom. We'll give the ADP of margin and it's going to contain the text more. We'll change the font size, color and make it bold. Okay, so this is title section of our category. Now we'll finally have the recycler view. And this is our recycler view and actually it's not supposed to be inside the card view it, it is supposed to be outside the card view so i'm just going to drag and drop outside the card view here okay and this recycler view is for new channel so i'm going to give the id name as new channel list okay now we'll work on this new channel list to retrieve our news from the api okay so let's go back here and just after this we will create one more method public void get news channels okay and we'll pass the string for urls and inside this we will create all the required code okay and just before that i need to create the layout resources for the new channel list so news channel list okay so this is our recycler view for new channel list and we also need the adapter so i'm just going to create one more adapter new channel adapter okay and we also need the channel list so let's create the channel list for news so news channel list okay Okay, so it is already defined. So I'm just going to call it new channel channels. Okay, now I will initialize all the all these stuff inside our get channel news here. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to initialize the news channel list. That is our recycler view. So r dot i dot news. Okay, so I'm not able to find that. Let me go ahead and check. Okay, so I gave the ID here in the visibility instead of ID section. So let me fix that quickly. Now our recycler view has the ID as new channel list and I can reference that here. New channel list. All right. And uh, we need the list view news channels. And we'll create the new array list. All right. And finally, we will set the layout manager for our recycler view. So we'll create new linear layout manager 
and we'll make this one as a horizontal and make it false okay and now it's time to create the new channel adapter so new channel adapter equals to new channel adapter and it's going to expect it's going to expect two arguments one is channel so we already have the channels for the new channels and the type type is category okay so whenever i'm creating the adapter for this category wise channels i'm giving the type as category and if you go back here and to check in the big slider adapter you can see i'm i have given the channel list type as a slider and this type we are going to check inside our adapters to make sure we are loading the different view for the different type of recycler view okay now i can set the channel list to a adapter so set adapter actually it's a new channel list dot set adapter and we'll set the new channel adapter just like that okay now it's time to extract data but before that i want to create new layout here because right now we only have this big slider layout for the slider recycler view now i want to create new layout for our category view okay i'm going to create new slider view so new new uh cat view okay so let's just say that so i already have designed the layout for this new layout resource file so i'm just going to copy that and i have uh, given the link in the description so you can get the resources from there as well so go there and open the file named a category view layout i'm just going to copy this and paste in our android studio and let me just remove the font family here so this is our layout and here you can see we have the channel thumbnail and channel name you can guess here we have the channel name as id and channel thumbnail as the id for this image okay so let's go to design and this is our design and i will change this font size to let's say 18 sp so this is our layout for category so this is our layout for the channels in the category section okay so now i need to inflate this layout in our adapter and now this is where we will use will make use of this type variable that we have so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this and here i'm going to check if the type equals to slider okay so if our calling recycler view is of type slider then we are going to display this slider view in other case we will display the cat view so new cat view okay and i need to make this view global inside this and i'll make i'll remove this view from here okay that way now whenever the slider is the whenever this adapter class is called from the slider it's going to load this view and whenever we call this from the other layout it's going to open this new cat view it's going to inflate this cat view okay so in that way we will be able to load different layout for the different recycler view okay now let's go back to our main activity here now it's time to extract the data so i will call the services class and get channel data will pass the url that we have received from the parameter and we need to create new on data response here okay and inside this now we have this response and error so i will just log the error for the logging purpose and inside this we are going to receive the multiple channels same as here so we need this for loop so i'm just going to copy this for loop okay so I'm just going to copy this for loop and paste in our on response method and here I need to change this channel list so I'm going to change that to new channels and I need to change the adapter as well so new adapter here okay now I need to call this get channels method in the on create method okay so I'm going to copy that and call our url 
okay but here we need to make changes because we are calling from the specific category so cat equals to news and let me copy this and show you guys that my link my urls are working or not so if i run here you can see it is displaying the data and if this data is not displaying to you make sure that your server is running okay so if you have forgotten to run your server then it's not going to work so make sure in this control panel this both are green okay now when i run this application it should display the data so let's go ahead and run this okay we got error here so let me go back here and add semicolon okay now you can see we are having the data from new channel okay so i can see some elevation here so I'm, i just want to remove this elevation from the card view so to change the elevation go to activity main here and select this card view and make the elevation zero dp and it should remove that elevation that shadow here in our application okay so you can see now we are able to load our data from the category okay now we will perform the similar operation to create the few two more category here in the home page and we'll do that in the next video so i hope you are able to follow along here with me if not let me know in the comment below the error you got and you can join our facebook group to discuss your problem you can send the screenshot of errors and so on so definitely let me know your errors and i'll try my best to help you so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel that will show your appreciation toward me so i will see you in the next one